okay so we're getting ready to go out for date night i'm waiting for brandon because he's in the bathroom p double o peeing as soon as we're done with dinner we're actually going over to our friend brian jew's house because he invited us over and a few other people over to watch the new season of um, The Bachelorette and he told us that the dress code for tonight is we're supposed to wear something comfy no he actually said to come in PJs but I guess I didn't want to wear PJs and like go to a restaurant and then go to his place so I think I'm just gonna stay in these clothes I need to get out of the house I've been home all day editing I am obsessed with my new standing desk situation. How'd it go? Great. Is that part of the video? Yeah. Is that a happy face? Yeah. I'm not that happy because I'm so hungry. Let's go. Oh. Are you? Do you feel shy right now? Because I told everyone you were. No, hoping? no, not at all. I'm sure I'm not the only one. In this house you are. I don't poop. Actually, now I gotta pee. Oh my god. Sorry. This always happens. It's because I get so excited about going outside and then my bladder gets too... <laughs> it's one excuse or another. So it's always like, she'll be ready in the beginning so she'll either, you know, go and pee like she's doing now or just take forever. But there's just always something. She's just... Whether she has to go get like a sweater or do something with her purse or I don't know. Babe, why are you always late and take forever to come out? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. What are you usually doing? It's because I'm trying to make sure I have everything. Okay. In like, any case. The AC is not off. But anyway, so we're going to uh, this new place that I discovered through Pastor Joel. If you're watching this. Apparently he watched a few episodes. What's the place called? Hapo Shikdang. Hapo Shikdang. There's no porkage fee. They kind of grill everything for you. And everything's just so well thought out. And even the sides are very similar, like the pickled uh, vegetables and things like even that. They're so, so good. Yeah, it's really incredible. And there's Steve with his tornado hair in the back. <laughs> oh my god! Where <laughs> are you guys Hey, I like your hair. Yeah, it's really cool. This is the place. It looks like there's a line. Yep, there's definitely a line. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good? Oh. I don't know if we mentioned this earlier, but this is our third time here this week. Yeah, we clearly love this place. So these are the sides that are really solid. It doesn't look like much, so good. but it's so good. The problem is that that is full of garlic as well. So oh yeah, I'll eat only this and I'll taste like garlic the whole night. But that's good for me because that means I get to eat raw garlic. <laughs> Alright, Q&A time. We have some time to kill before we head over to Brian's. So we're going to answer two questions from last week's episode. Oh, okay. What's your favorite thing about living in South Korea? You go first. My favorite thing has to be... Okay, well, two things. One is you don't have to tip anywhere. That's a huge one. Is that what you were going to say? No. Oh. Tipping is one. It's huge, but no. And two, for me as a female, um, the safety issue, I feel, I felt very unsafe a lot of times. Like, you know, if I was out late by myself in the States somewhere, especially New York or whatever. But I realized that it's something that I have spent way less energy worrying about if I had to be traveling by myself at night. That's good. Those are two big ones. There's a lot, but yeah. I mean, the first thing that came to mind was the city never sleeps. Mm. And there's no last call, there's a business, there's so many 24 hour businesses. Mm. Now that I'm older, I don't necessarily stay up all night or anything, but it's just nice to always have something to do or something to eat. It's so easily accessible. I think 
public transportation is incredible here and I think it's one of the best in the world yeah. in, in terms of that. William, who graciously let me re-answer this because I replied to you in a comment and then I gave a very general answer. Do you guys have any ideas on initial hangout or first date questions, topics to explore throughout conversation? So I think what I wrote back to your comment, William, was I just like to get to the heart of things. Like I don't like small talk. And so if I was on a first date, I one would really like to know about the guy's family, dating history. It doesn't have to go into like specific detail, but I would I would just be curious about if they've been in like a long-term relationships, if there are any like commitment issues or whatever. And I would approach it in a way where I'm not trying to sound like a crazy person, like this guy needs to feel like this guy's going to think like I want to marry him on the first date, but I'm just kind of like that in general, so I would hope that I don't come off as a creep. Another thing that I would love to know is um, like what he's passionate about. So if it's like if you can quit your job right now and do whatever you wanted to make a comfortable income, like what would that thing be? And I feel like starting that conversation would really open doors and help me understand like his values, like what he's interested in and like what he stands for as a man. For me as a woman, I find it very attractive when a guy has very like strong principles or knows what he wants from life and is willing to like figure that out even if he hasn't figured it out yet. I'd like to zero in on interests that they have. So whether it's their, like today I was having lunch with a guy at work who's some, somewhat new to the office and I was asking him about, he seems to be really into high fashion stuff because he's got a lot of cool apparel and things like that and so I kind of start there. I'm like, oh, well tell me about that brand. Why do you like it? This guy was really cool, but he was telling me uh, about this guy and told me about the shoes that he bought from them, was, which was like a thousand bucks. I was like, holy crap, he spent a thousand bucks on shoes. And I just kept get, you know digging deeper and deeper and I think it's really nice for someone to be able to just not be so self-conscious and be able to just mm. you know, explain why they like something. Mm. And I think like what you were saying, it just really shows that they they have a keen understanding of what they like and don't like. And, yeah, and owning that. And really owning that, yeah. yeah. More than just a specific question, it's more of a sort of direction. Do they have that direction? And it's... <laughs> Walk in with like some random lady? Yeah, she let us in. I was like, who is this person? Oh, because she canceled it. She's like, let me do it for you. Okay, just the FYI, we're really stinky because we had meat. So just throwing that out there. I just got out of the shower, so I'm really smelly good. Air kiss, air kiss. Air kiss. You got all the alcohol and drinks and stuff. Left oh there. my god. Oh, you smell like a shower fresh baby. Yeah, dude. Thank you. This is how I smell all the time. Yeah, you kind of do. Perfect. Smell a little bit. Hi. And there's the beautiful Jen. She's behind her camera. So yes. this is uh, Brian setting the mood for tonight. I'm sitting. Look at this. It's like his whole place is spotless. It smells delicious in here. Look at these puppies. <laughs> Chester's a little horny right now. I guess on Bachelor at night, he gets a little horny. He's trying what? To Wait, which one's Chester? Hello, what's up, boys? I wish I could be there to watch the Bachelorette. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Um, yeah, I look a little <laughs> out of it. I've been traveling for longer than I was uh, in my destination, but hope you guys are doing great. Hey, CC, hey, Jen, hey, everybody. Hey, you Enjoy guys. Enjoy your night. I'm about right to go here. home and see Gail <laughs> and the kids and. Here we are in beautiful China. We'll miss you. Later. We miss you too. <laughs> miss you, Chad Whitman. Oh, I can buy. Somebody's like excited about the Bachelorette. <laughs> what would be the male person? That's a vasectomy. Yeah, vasectomy. That's okay. Okay, one. Right. Ready? One, two, three. Chase. Bachelorette. What? Chase. Team Chase. Team Chase. <laughs> Brandon and I have not watched any in the season, so we're just. Basically, we asked for the rundown, and we're rooting for Chase. We love Chase. Yeah. Got oh, it. JoJo. Okay. First of all, I feel like it is totally fair for her to pull out whenever she wants. I mean, that's like her right. Maybe there was like a little bit of fear there. It's like, maybe it's not, like he's just yeah. so good that it's not for me. It's kind of like what you when you want something and you got it, and now you're like, well, mm -hmm. Jordan, I still don't know mm. about him. Yeah, yeah it's so more And I like the fact that you said genuine. Because he's so genuine, she has to be genuine. 
genuine with him. Yes. Mm. Totally okay. I'm telling you right now, it's okay to invite friends over right now. We gotta start tightening this up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it gets yeah. harder when you start bringing in. No, you know how Brian is. All of a sudden, he's like, "Hey, so and so and so and so and so and so are coming over for bash tonight. We gotta be protective Bro. of this." There's an easy way. Jesus there's an easy way to go through an interviewing process. Jeez. Yes. Number one, first question: <laughs> is, Do you watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette? <laughs> if the answer is no, you better have a kick-ass personality or make an amazing dish. I like that. I like the criteria. If you right? know how or, to cook me meatball. You can cut. Right. This is like something I never expected <laughs> from my wife. We just finished watching The Bachelor it. and we have decided we are going to be here next week. After right? catching up this weekend. On yes, this all weekend of we're going to watch this shows. entire season. We're all going to say good night now. Good night. Oh, good night. Night. All right, everyone. Have I a good can't, night. I can't, I can't stay. Do it again, do it again. I can't, I can't, I can't stay. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>